The Takumi Sen 8 immediately captured my attention as a stripped down, raw power, short distance racer. I've done track workouts in the shoe, picked up a 5K PB, and I've done marathon workouts in it as well. It's one of my favorite shoes I've run in this year, and it's time to talk about it after 100 miles. Yo, what's going on everybody? Today I wanna to talk to you about the Takumi Sen 8 after 100 miles, but before that, I do wanna go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that I purchased myself, no one sent it to me, no one's paying me to make this video, and no one's gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So, with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the Takumi Set 8 after 100 miles. First, let's talk about how I've been using the shoe. I've been using it as a 5K, 10K racer type of shoe, so it's not a marathon super shoe, but it's a super shoe geared more towards people who are doing road races and distance races, but not necessarily the full marathon on distance. Generally, Light Strike Pro is a little bit on the dense side when it comes to super foams, but it still gives plenty of cushion and the real upside of it all is that it has a lot of pop. So you're getting a lot of that compression decompression that's happening very quickly. I think there's a little bit more decompression than there is like soft compression in there and that's why I call it a little bit more dense, but it's not a stiff shoe by any means. There's cutouts in the shoe that kind of not only save weight, but also help the shoe bend a little bit easier so that way you can get through that first strike load the foam and the carbon rods as intended, and then really get a lot of spring back for each consecutive step. As far as those energy rods go, I don't think in the Takumi Sen that they're full carbon, like they might be in the Adios Pro 3 or in the Primex. Uh, the colors kind of tell you the difference. I think they're color coded. These are gray, so I think that there's a little bit of some other materials in here. I don't even know if there's any carbon in them at all, but they serve kind of the same purpose as a carbon fiber plate or in some other instances like as a nylon shank or a carbon mix type of shank or plate that might be in the shoe where it helps provide a little bit of stability for the shoe and also gives that foam something to really work with in terms of that pop off. It's light and airy, the upper is super breathable and it's great for those hot summer track sessions and other 5K workouts. If I'm on the track and don't necessarily wanna get into some spikes but I want a fast shoe, the Takumi Sen 8 is one that I will very easily reach for. It's probably my favorite kind of track non-spike shoe, not that I love the track or spend that much time on there, but when I'm out there, uh, this is probably high on the list for shoes that I'm gonna bring. It's a low enough stack height at 33 millimeters in the heel with a six millimeter drop to be able to handle some of those sharper corners that you might see whether you're on a track or whether you're on a 5K road course that has a couple of hairpin turns. It's also really lightweight at just 6.5 ounces and 185 grams, so it definitely feels like a shoe that you wanna take for those shorter, faster runs Runs, those kinds of runs where you're really gonna be digging deep and suffering. The shoe is lightweight and lets you really turn over those legs. I've even used it for a couple of my marathon workouts too, but I usually wouldn't reach for it if it's a kind of like a long run with some marathon paces in there. Really, if I'm gonna use this in part of my marathon training, I'm looking at it for the kinds of workouts that I might do when I'm say 5K or 10K training or half marathon training where I'm gonna be running faster than marathon pace, faster than than threshold pace or threshold pace is kind of like the minimum kind of speed of a workout that I would look at for the Takumi Sen 8, regardless of kind of what ultimate race I'm training for. But threshold paces, 5K pace efforts, uh, anything even faster than that, maybe up to a mile race pace. If you're doing repetitions in kind of like that range of the speed register, then I feel like the Takumi Sen 8 is a really fantastic shoe to have on. Now, I did race a 5K in this shoe and it was the fastest 5K that I've ever run, but I do think that it's also quite suitable because there is a decent enough amount of stack height combined with the performance of this Light Strike Pro Foam. You could certainly take it for a 10K race, and I think that I could probably even race up to a half marathon in them, but at that distance, then I'm starting to look at, well, maybe I'll just use one of the faster kind of marathon shoes rather than the Takumi Sen 8 because I think that's kind of like the bubble where like the strip downness and the performance gains that you get from really making it a little bit more minimal um, start to weigh against the benefits of having a little bit more protection on the body for that half marathon distance. But if you're a 5K, 10K racer, you have largely been ignored by the running shoe industry and the super shoe segment, but this is definitely a shoe that you should look at because I think it's tuned specifically 
for you runners out there. Now let's talk about the wear and tear. And this I think is quite possibly the best value in racing or super shoes that exists on the market today. I, I normally don't talk about prices too much because like at a certain point, they're all just expensive shoes and you gotta find the one that really works for you. But this one really, the pricing is like really peculiar. So I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit here. At 180 bucks, the pricing is really quite remarkable what we have here, especially for what you're getting. Yes, there's like less foam in here. There's less of a premium product. It's not a full carbon rod that we have in here. So I guess that makes like kind of the production costs go down a little bit, but it's also kind of a niche shoe because it's not exactly a marathoner shoe and it's not a track guy's shoe either. It's for those 5k, 10k races where I just don't think that's like the biggest population of people that are looking for say super shoes. And so the price still managed to stay really low. And now you can get it for 126 bucks because the shoe has been out for a little bit more than a year at this point, I think. But for this shoe, you get a really great fast workout day shoe, fast short distance racing shoe, but also it holds up really, really well. The continental rubber on the outsole is showing almost nowhere at all. There are some exposed points of foam that uh, is showing a little bit of scuffing and discoloration on my shoes. Uh, but other than that, it's really hard to tell that this shoe has hardly any miles in it at all. And that also is replicated in the performance of the foam. I think that Light Strike Pro is one of the more durable super shoe foams. You know, those two where it don't tend to go together, but I feel like the Light Strike Pro tends to retain its qualities for a really long period of time, and that's certainly what's happening in the Takumi Sen 8. I still feel like it's a really fast, aggressive, race day type of shoe for those shorter races where I really want to have fast turnover, a lightweight shoe, and a lot of pop from the foam and carbon. And I'm still getting all of that even at 100 miles in this race day shoe. Now, typically I will use like a super shoe up to like 150 miles of racing and then it becomes only like a workout shoe for me at that point. But at the 100 mile point right now, I still feel like there's a lot left in terms of the race life for this shoe. So for those those of you guys who are doing those 5k 10k racing and are looking for something that's a little bit of a better value this is certainly one to look at even at the full price of 180 but especially if you don't mind some of the colors and sizes that are left at 126 on the adidas website i think that you guys are going to be really happy now i don't test a lot of 5k 10k race specific shoes in fact there's not really that many that are specifically purpose built for this kind of like range of distances but I'm hard pressed to think about another shoe that could be better at doing what the Takumi Sen 8 does better than the Takumi Sen 8. So those are my thoughts on this shoe after 100 miles. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?